What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are down on the creek to talk about my favorite panfish plastics that I like to tie on. And I've got five of them here, but here's an option. You can either fish with the bobber. I like the ones with the weights on the, on the bottom. So you can fish these with just a small lightweight hook, or you can get a lightweight jig head, like 132nd ounce, 1 16th ounce, and you can put it on any of these. And to start off, I've got to go with my favorite here. And these are, this one especially, this is the Nico. This is a Nico wax worm. These things are awesome. They're only an inch long. They kind of mimic when they're on a jig head and you straight up throw them out, keep that rod tip high and just bring it back real slow. It has a slight, slight wobble. And these things are tiny. Look at how small that is. But the cool thing about these is this right here, the stretch. You could probably catch 200 fish on one of these, which is pretty sweet. Now, these are, oh, I got them on Amazon, so they're under $10. I wanna say they're six or $7 for a pack. It's a little bitty pack, but if you put them on a light jig head or even, on, I'm, I don't really do it often on a small little jig head and then and then fix up a bobber above it. But if you throw it under a bobber, any of these lures, throw it under a bobber to keep and just basically pop it, let it fall. All it's going to do is it's going to come up and it's going to fall and then you're going to pop it again and it's going to raise it up and then it's going to fall. It'll raise it up and then it's going to fall. And that little bitty action will keep it in the fish's face a lot longer. And sometimes I got clear water behind me right now. I would probably just fish this on a light jig head, but if you put it under a bobber, any of these lures under a bobber, you can fish a little bit more stained and muddy water and keep it in that fish's face for a lot longer of a time. So sometimes that is an option. Now, the second one that I'm gonna go with here is another Nico. These lures, because of the flexibility I just showed you in that one, they just pop. This one is an inch and a half long. This is a caddy fly. And I like this particular color because it's kind of greenish and it's kind of fluorescent also, but it's got that flexibility too, but it's a half inch longer than that wax worm. And these things will act like a wacky rig, which is kind of weird to think about, but it'll act like a wacky rig. And we all know that in bass fishing, it is hard for a bass to resist a wacky rig, but these things, I don't know what it is about them. They're almost like a little bitty helgramite, as you see those little legs right there. They're sweet little lures, but they're about the same price as those wax worms, six, seven dollars. I can get them on Amazon as well. And gosh, it's hard not to catch fish on this one or that wax worm. All right, let's see, which one should be number three? I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is a classic and y'all know Bobby Garland catches some fish, but these are a lot smaller than you typically would use. A lot of the regular size crappy plastics, crappy, crappy plastics that you would typically be using are not this size. Look at how small that is. That is tiny. It's a lot smaller, a lot less bulk than a lot of those panfish lures that you're used to. Um, or crappie lures, I should say, from Bobby Garland. So this one, it's got a little bitty paddle tail. If it'll stop moving, you can kind of see it back there and it produces a good wobble. I mean, I'm barely even moving this thing. It's shaking like crazy. God, my fingers all messed up. <laughs> but yeah, these will catch you some. If you put them on a little bitty jig head and just throw them out same way, bobber or a light jig head and just bring them back to you, they'll do that slight wobble and, you know, bass can't resist you know paddle tails and other other plastic swim baits so the panfish are really aggressive and you'd be surprised how many fish you can catch on one of these little guys all right this one is a pretty simple one throw it in the backpack and take off that's a panfish magnet kit trout magnet kit basically the same thing uh when you pop them open they come with their only their own little jig heads so as you see these little jig heads that come with them. And here they are. I've, I'm about to run out of this pack, but they come in a whole assortment of covers. But this one is a good one. I would use that probably in some muddier water with that black and that, that green on the bottom. It 
work perfectly. But a lot of bluegill, a lot of panfish cannot resist one of these. I don't know what it is. They got a split tail in them. As you kind of see if it'll do it. It's hard to do with one hand. Yeah, there it is. They will split wide open. And they give that, I mean, just barely even moving it. Look at all that twitch it makes. That's what brings those fish in when you're going after them. It's got root beer color. You got your pink with like almost a maroonish, but I've pretty much used up most of them. All right. And the last one, this is a Walmart lure. You all have probably seen, you all have used. Yeah, curly tails. These are a little bit bulkier. These are the bulkier ones of what we are actually using right now. But you put these under a bobber, you will go catch just about every, I mean, I've caught single day trips on the river. I've caught catfish, bass, crappie, and panfish all on this. I mean, they will literally almost catch you everything. And especially under a bobber, just like I was saying as earlier, you don't pick it up, it'll rise, and then slow fall. And that, that movement of that little curly tail will straight up catch them. And these are, my goodness, like a dollar fifty under two dollars at walmart and you can go buy a pack these are a little bit heavier of a of a head than i like to use a lot of times but they will catch them and you can get them smaller too and put them on a lighter jig head like the ones other ones i was talking about like a 132nd ounce jig head 116th you can put them on those they won't fall as you know as fast as this size will i believe that's an eighth ounce I think, I think that's an eighth ounce. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to go over some of the plastics that I like to use whenever I'm specifically targeting those panfish, those bluegill, those crappie. They'll all work for all of those species, but if you're mainly going after bluegill or red breast, they are gonna tear them up. They definitely catch some fish. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.